Hi everyone, Katie here. Um, today I'm going to show you how I created my foam latex cow, which I used in this Cobra inspired makeup. So the mould that I used for uh, this cowl is actually made from fiberglass. Um, it's really great to use for foam latex because it's really lightweight and very, very durable. So the first thing I'm going to do is release all parts of my mould with some MAC Wax Release Spray. This stuff you can get from PS Composites, you can get it from MBFG as well. I'll link some websites for you guys down below. So once I've done about three layers of release and let it dry, I've put my mould together and I'm drilling it really tightly shut with some bolts. And these ones I'm using a little hand drill with just to get it extra tight so that no foam leaks through. So to run your foam you're going to need a heavy duty mixer, one that goes from speeds 1 all the way up to 10. You're also going to need some scales and some disposable pots to weigh out your mixing. So for this I'm going to be using some Monster Makers foam, um, which comes in four parts. You've got the latex foam base. You've got the foaming agent, you've got the curing agent, and then you've also got the gelling agent as well. So to fill my moulds, I'm going to be injecting the foam in with these mortar guns. These I got from a DIY store for about £15 each, and they're great because they have a little metal clip on the end of the handle there, which you can push in and then the plunger slides in really, really nice and smoothly. They also came with these little metal scoops as well, which are great for filling up the tubes. So here's my mould all ready to go and you can see right down the bottom there my little injection hole. So I pre-weighed all of my ingredients, I've got my base, I've written on all my pots so that I know which one's which, that one was 300 grams, I've got my foam agent which was 60 grams, my curing agent which was 30 grams and I've also got my gelling agent which was 20 grams. So I've got my stopwatch nearby so I can keep an eye on all my timings. So now I'm just combining the base, the curing agent and the foam agent together. So there's the base. There's the curing agent. And the foaming agent. So I'm just making sure I'm getting out as much of the mix as I can. Um, every little drop, every gram is really important when it comes to making foam. And we're ready to go. So don't forget to wear your mask and your protective clothing because it can get really smelly and really messy. So I've started off on speed number one and I'm going to mix this for one minute. And now I'm putting it up to speed 10 for four minutes. So I'm just using that time to prep my foam guns, make sure they're all clean and ready to go. What I will say is this is a run that is quite short, it works really really well for me but it does change for everybody depending on the temperature and humidity of the room that you're doing it in. So I definitely recommend doing your research before doing this. I will put some sources which I found really helpful down in the description. So after 4 minutes on speed 10 I then went down to speed 4 for 1 minute. Then after that I went down to speed 1 for 2 minutes, added my gelling agent and then mixed it for another minute. So once I'd made sure the gelling agent was mixed into the foam really thoroughly, started filling up the foam guns. It's really handy to have a friend here to help you because this stuff can cure really quickly. So once I've filled the gun, I twisted on the top and injected it into the mould. When doing this, you want to push it really smoothly so that you don't get any air trapped inside. So I kept filling up the mould until it started coming out of the little bleed holes which I drilled at the bottom of the mould. And once it started coming out I blocked up the holes with a little bit of NSP clay. I then let this gel for about 20 minutes before popping it in the oven. 
I then put it in the oven for four and a half hours at about 50 degrees Celsius. And here's the results. So once it was all dry, I pre-painted it with some Pax paints ready to apply to my model.